the main problem that we have this side is water. If we can get water, domestic use, and to assist us in the farming, things will be better. The LSO project was designed with the intent of securing water for residents of Kingston. Well, just like anywhere else in the world, we've been challenged by climate change. So Kingston has a population of well over 500,000, and we rely heavily on Yellas and Hope River watersheds for our water. So as a project, we decided that these areas need to be intervened because we realized that it was degrading. And when we looked across the region, we saw a brilliant example. That example was the Payment for Ecosystem Services scheme. We shared our experience for over 50 years uh, on pest design with uh, different stakeholders in Jamaica to design a PS scheme that is very strong from the technical perspective but that is also adapted to the nuances of the context in Jamaica. And this is extremely important to have a PS scheme that is credible and that generates trust to the different stakeholders involved in the implementation. We at the IDB uh, sort of promote the approach that we shouldn't only be looking at physical, physical engineered solutions, but where possible we should be looking at ecosystem-based uh, solutions to, to problems that we are observing in the environment. The logic of payments for ecosystem services is very simple but powerful. We are aiming to provide economic incentives to farmers to implement soil and water conservation practices, uh, agroforestry systems, also to provide payments for people to protect the forest. And all these actions, uh, we believe, will enhance water availability and minimize erosion problems in the watershed. So the farmers in the Yellas and Hope River watershed management areas, they're being taught specific agricultural practices that will conserve and preserve the lands in that area. Because we learn the way scientific farming, the way we can farm an hillside. That means what we have done on top of the hill, it will affect the people living below. I believe that there is a lot of potential for replicability of payments for ecosystem services uh, to other regions in Jamaica but also to other countries in the Caribbean. So if the government can demonstrate uh, or, uh, that there is an architecture in place for rehabilitating the degraded resource, uh, there is a governance model, there is a plan, there is a way of monitoring the plan, and there is transparency in how the re resources are spent, then this is the, the framework of a sustainable financial model to maintain the resource going forward.